Hey everybody, it's a good day to have a good day and it's a good day to learn how to bleach the knots on an HD lace closure. So today I'm gonna be showing you guys how I bleach the knots. This is gonna be very beginner friendly. Also, the closure that I'm using today is a HD lace closure from Charisse Hair Vault, four by four inch, but also check them out because this closure is looking amazing before I even bleach the knot. Like, look at that. It's looking very transparent. So up right here, I'm showing you the reason why we want to bleach the knots so you can physically see like the black knots right here and that's not okay because when you look at a normal scalp you don't see that so I want you all to be looking flawless so I'm gonna show you how to get rid of that and bleach it These are all the materials that you'll be needing. You'll need a plastic mixing bowl and then you'll also need a silicone mixing brush. You could also use a regular brush. I just like the silicone personal preference. Um, then you'll be using cream developer. I'm using 20 and you'll need um, some dye. Now for some reason I feel like the blue dye is better than the white um, dye. So don't get the white, just get the blue because the white always makes it look extra brassy and it just doesn't give it a natural look. So you wanna look as natural as possible. You want it to look like scalp, so get the Quick Blue by L'Oreal. The cream developer, I noticed, doesn't matter so much, so just get whatever is the cheapest. And oops, I just said dye. Don't get dye, get bleach. Um, it's what I'm showing you all. I just made a mistake and said dye, but this is bleach powder. So you could just go to any beauty supply store and they should have it for you. So you wanna start off by using one scoop of the blue bleach. One scoop is usually more than enough for one closure. If you're doing a frontal, maybe do a scoop and a half or two scoops. This is the foolproof way to me because if you need more bleach, you can always make more, but then you don't start off wasting. So it's good to just start off with a little bit. So now I'm just gonna take my cream developer and I'm gonna measure out one scoop of that evenly. And then I'm gonna also pour that into my bowl and then I'm gonna give it a good stir. Also, you don't wanna be messy like me and dirty up your surroundings. Try to keep everything clean because this is bleach that you're gonna be working with. So like you don't want any residue anywhere that you could possibly come into contact with later. So one thing about doing this, you wanna make sure that the consistency is just right. So here you can see that it's too thick, but I always start out with one scoop of the powder, one scoop of the developer, because you can always adjust it from there, but once you get it too watery, then it's kinda of messed up. Here you can see I'm just adding a little bit of developer at a time. That's what I do when it's too thick. And then I just keep adding a little bit and a little bit and stirring it. And then I keep stirring until I get the consistency I want. And this is kind of the foolproof way of doing it because you can just check it after each time you add a little bit. Whereas like if you add too much and it's messed up, you can't go back and you don't wanna waste money, you don't wanna waste product. So just add a little bit at a time and then you'll get the perfect consistency that you're looking for. All right, y'all, now this is the consistency that you're after. Look how it's so smooth and buttery. Like, yes, we about to slay. So the consistency is very important because you don't want it too thick. You don't wanna have to smash it into your closure to apply it, but you don't want it too watery as well. You want it just right. All right, guys, this is where you want to be careful because it's easy to make a mistake and you can't go back from this part. So when you apply the bleach, you want to be very, very, very light. I really can't stress that enough. 
you do not want to push the bleach through the closure because a HD lace closure is very thin, transparent material and that bleach is going to slide through very easily. So you want to make sure you're just lightly placing the bleach on the closer, on the closure and you really don't even want to worry about rubbing it in. You just want to place it. So don't try to slide it like you slide in peanut butter on bread. Just place it on there normally and move on to the next spot. Okay, so I do want you guys to know that I sped this part of the video up. Um, it did take me forever, probably like three to five minutes in real time, but I sped it up just so that the video wouldn't drag. I want you to know this so that when you're doing this, you actually take your time because when people mess up bleaching the closure, they usually mess up here. They press too hard and they don't even realize they're pressing that hard because they don't know how sensitive you have to be when you put the bleach on. So just be mindful of that when you're doing it. Be very, very light and just work with a little bit at a time. That also helps and it also, make it, it also helps to make it foolproof when you do it that way. Because if you add, you see how I'm doing little bitty strokes, you add little bitty strokes, you'll be fine. But be so careful to just place the bleach on the closure and not try to rub it in. So now that I'm done putting the bleach on there, I just want to show you the other side and let you see how none of the bleach came through because I did what? I pressed very lightly and that's what you're going to do. It's the foolproof way. Just do a little bit at a time. So I left that on there for about 20 to 25 minutes, but you can also still keep checking it and then make sure that the bleach has lifted the knots on your closures. So basically that just means that it's not black anymore. So now you just see me rinsing off my closure first. I always rinse it first and I make sure that I get all the bleach residue off because this will come in contact with your skin or your forehead and you don't want to get any type of chemical burn. So you just wanna make sure that you rinse everything off. Okay, and now I'm just cutting up at this point. I'm just showing you how good it looks. And also, shout out to Cherise Hairball. So if you're looking for a closure to look this good, shop with them. 
The closure that I've been showing you guys is a 4x4 inch closure, but Charisse Hair Vault also has 5x5 inch and 6x inch closures. They also have 13x4 inch and 13x6 inch frontals, so check them out. And they also have HD lace wigs. Like, where are you going to find that at? And you see how good the knot's bleaching, you see how good it's looking, and it hasn't even been plucked yet. It hasn't been anything, just bleached and washed. So definitely, definitely shop and get their HD lace. Y'all, like y'all, y'all see this? This is HD lace. Look at that. Them knots is bleached to perfection. They, they're, them, you gonna trick everybody to think that's your scalp. Like, it's time to shop with Charisse Hair Vault. Also, you wanna make sure that you wash your closure at least twice. That's what I do because you put bleach on it and you just wanna make sure that you get all of the bleach out you don't want any type of chemical burns or anything like that. So follow those tips I gave you. Use the blue bleach. Don't buy the white one, buy the blue. And also make sure you apply the bleach very, very lightly. Follow those tips and buy your closure from Cherise Hair Vault. You really won't mess up. You'll be slayed. Like and share, comment, give this a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Also, don't forget to subscribe. Bye.